Well, MasterChef is back on our screens. It has returned with a vengeance. It's raiding its little potatoes off. Last night we saw James leave. Matt Preston is joining us. Did James have to go? I like James. Loved, mm. Wasn't that amazing? The, the outpouring of love for James last night was beautiful. I hope he feels it. I hope he knows. You know what the great thing is? That this year, the, because because the contestants are actually all, all online, he would have read it, which is lovely. So he would have he would have felt sad watching it and then felt happy because everyone loved him so much. What about yeah. the guy, the professional chef? That got oh. chucked out before it even went to air. Oh yeah, how about that? You know, but that, that that that's 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 the deal. You know, I think often what happens is is you know what happens on a lot of shows. People think I'll never get in, and they put themselves forward, and then then they go, and then they have that panic when they picked. And in in, in Mario's case, he came forward and just went hands up. Mm. I don't fulfil the criteria, and you know we just like you on Bachelor when your wife found out. Yes, <laughs> but you know I could speak like Blake Garvey, so it's okay. <laughs> Come on, Amanda. Yeah, I want to give you a rose because your six packs excellent. Oh, I'm like, no, 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 six pack. Forget to see. I'm, 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 the, I'm the full, I'm the full eighty gallon tub. Me. Oh no, <laughs> that's what I love. You know, but I thought that with you know I watched My Kitchen Rules and I was into that and I just became and I thought that when. MasterChef started, I would be over cooking shows, but I'm not. I've become like a strumpet for cooking shows. Mm. And I think that why this one's so successful, because you're making food that is beyond the possibilities of anyone. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you now. see, you say that. You say that. And, you know, admittedly, a Sat Bain's pressure test dish is going to put the contestant on the bread. He's probably one of, he's probably England's most exciting chef, the guy was on, on um, last night. But tonight, the opening challenge, after seven years of begging on my behalf, is the jaffle. Now that now that is a, that is a challenge that we can all relate to, mm. um, and you I'm know, about you though, fun. because you can't eat a jaffel without scalding the roof of your yeah. mouth. How are you going to manage when you're judging? Well, luckily, luckily we have a plan for that because we let the jaffels cool down to the right temperature. Because mm. the, the secret of a jaffel, obviously, is not eating it super hot straight out of the jaffel and just waiting a moment. There's a whole load of um, of stuff you've got to bring to play with the jaffel. It's not a simple challenge. Mm. It's kind of it's kind of on the money at the moment, jaffels. So right. it's not all punsy punsy, is what you're saying, oh, Master Chef. Please, I mean, I had to, I had to, I had to, I had to take punsy pills last night to say things like <laughs> ethos and uh, <laughs> you know. Well, I like that as you the said, dish. the Michelin star last night, the chef. Sam Baines. He should have changed his name to Bain Marie. Oh, he's that. That's a brilliant joke. I must use that. I'll send. Are him you mocking me now? Home. No, I'm just using. He's writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be stealing your material. Yeah. Well, you're watching Rosa last night. Is Rosa going to be like Julie Goodwin, where sort of bumbling, 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 bang, wins the series? She is really good with a recipe, but I don't think Julie. Julie probably was a, was was a generally a better cook than Rose. But you know, the thing about Rose is that. Often you go home on a pressure test, and and if you can nail a recipe every time, then you can pull out some surprise results. Um, there's a there's a contestant called Georgia, which you'll see a bit more of. She still saw a bit in that in that that dessert challenge the other night. Um, she reminds me of Julie massively. She the highs, the lows, the highs, the lows, ability to do delicious thing, pull amazing flavors out of ingredients. So she's she's that's if you like a Julie Goodwin type mayhem in the kitchen, she's the one. What's, Everything on her face. What's the deal with deconstructed stuff? That seems oh, to be the thing to don't do. Don't bring that up. We, we, George and I had to tell Gary to calm down about that. Because, What's with deconstructed? Well, you know well, what? That French onion soup. It's just an onion and water and salt. Uh, and the whole point is, if it's if it tastes better than the original um, version, the better than the French onion soup, better than lemon meringue pie, it's fine but there's a danger it becomes like the a lazy way of doing it mm. and so gary gary has a big moment with reynolds coming up where he he gets stuck into reynolds for just bring me a lemon pie i don't want a pile of crumbs a pile of curd and some and toasted meringues just give me the the whole thing because actually it's harder to do a really good lemon meringue pie than it is to deconstruct it and, yeah, and do it that way but deconstructing be the easiest thing in the world it's like uh, when they say double cooked or you know, double roasted or caramelized. That's just twice, burnt. Twice cooked souffle. No, well, that's just that's right. It's you, like you, you are just, one or once cooked souffle. You just get it right the first time. <laughs> bring it to me. That's what you I say. Just mucked it up. Yeah, no, I know. No, no. You know, I think the whole thing is you know, and that's why mystery boxes are so great because you sit around at home. You know, there's Sunday yeah. episodes that do so well because you sit around going, I'd make that. Don't do that. No, not creme de mousse with the month of the lobster, please. You know, and you also it makes you look differently in your own fridge and your own cupboard. You go to your own thing and think, well, what would I make out of this? My Milo and beef soup was delicious. You know what? That's really, I look at you and I wonder whether that's a joke or reality. No, thank you. <laughs> I thought you stopped smoking pot. Yeah, no, unbelievable. <laughs> you, that, that. It's always great to see you, Matt. I'm Fantastic. loving MasterChef. I'm on the bandwagon and uh, it's like the Spice Girls. You have your favourite ones and when they go, you get a bit heartbroken. I have to pick a new James for myself now. No, don't worry. There's a few. How about, how about Jamie? 
Jamie, very I similar like. name. Yeah. You know, love, a love, broody, little, 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 bit. little, little bit of moody. Looks good in shorts, yeah. and you know, and um, and and he wants to open a sandwich shop. So it's all that we're all in that st- stay in that lovely Jaffel territory tonight. Oh. Well, oh. I look forward to you show. watching you eat a Jaffel tonight without scalding your gob. I oh, don't worry. You'll, you'll you'll see you'll see pleasure. You'll see pain, and you'll see. <laughs> 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 Seven thirty tonight on ten. Matt Preston, thank you. A pleasure.